Taking your cleaning business from zero to success. Hi, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Well, I tell you what, you know, I've started a couple of different companies. Well, actually more than a couple. Um, but, uh, you know, the thing the thing is that we're there, you know, we're just getting started. Uh, we have, have no accounts, uh, no clients. And what we're going to typically do is we're going to generally take on any account we can get our hands on. And those are typically small accounts that are serviced one day per week. Uh, it could be a small office, could be a hair salon, it, it could be just about anything. Uh, in fact, you might even do some apartment move-in and move-outs uh, just to get some revenue going. But we all do it. You, know, you have to start somewhere. But once, you, once you've started that, the thing that you want to do is that you've got to start developing your systems. So, and what I mean by systems, uh, it's going to be all the procedure of how you do things. Uh, such as how'd you get the, how'd you get that client? You know, do you have a sales and marketing system? Uh, you know, it's very important that you that you do that. So one of the first things that we will develop is a hiring system, uh, because we do plan on hiring an employee or 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 more uh, once we get to a, a certain point to where we can't do it ourselves. So that'd be the very first thing that you want to probably develop is a hiring system. How are you going to hire people? You're going to place an ad, uh, you know, and we've done plenty of videos on those. Uh, but you want to do a, uh, you know, you got to place some ads. You want to create your system, document it. And you want to qualify the applicant through each each process, each step of the each step of the way. But that would be the first one you want to develop because, we, like I say, we're at some point we're going to hire somebody. Uh, the other ones that you want to develop are your sales and marketing because, we're going to start our business from zero and we're going to get our first account. Now that first account might not come. It could come in the first week. It could come in the first 90 days. Um, it really all depends. But in any case, uh, once you get that first account, now you're on the roll uh, and you start building these, uh, developing these systems and your sales and marketing, you have to have some type of systems in there uh, because you have to market in order to get clients. And it all depends on how you're going to be doing that. You know, you, obviously today you'll have a website. Uh, you may be doing some networking and things like that there. And, um, you know, you may be doing some Google ads and, and also stuff like that there. But when we're just getting started out, you know, that's what you'd probably want to do is you want to join some networking groups because you want to get your name out there. Uh, you want to get to know people. You want to build relationships. You, you have to do that. So join some networking groups. And then uh, tell everybody that you that you know what you do. Hey, you know, I started a cleaning company and this is what we do and this is what we offer. Just tell everybody because word of mouth is a great way to build your business too. Uh, and I already said, you know, a website. Today you have to have a website. Um, so create a website, have one built if you don't know how to do it. And, uh, you know, watch, watch for your SEO and, uh, you know, so your search engine optimization. Because the whole thing is that when somebody does a Google search for cleaning in XYZ city, you want to be found. Uh, hopefully you're on that first page. Um, so that's very, very important. Now, as you continue to grow your business, you know, you're going to get your second customer, your third customer. And now, you know, they could still be those smaller businesses, you know, the one to 3,000 square feet, serving one day per week, two days per week. But as you continue to build, you will start to get uh, bigger and bigger clients. And that's what you want to do. Uh, don't stay focused on the small accounts, the one or two days per week. You know, start focusing on three and five day per week accounts. So it really, the, what happens is that you kind of take different steps. So, you, you know, as I said, your first step would be probably one to 3,000 square feet. Uh, then you want to try to move up from there and go to, you know, uh, uh, 4,000 to 15,000 square feet accounts. Uh, those are getting to be decent sized accounts. And then, uh, you know, from there, you want to take your next uh, next uh, plateau and, and try to get, you know, 16,000 to 50,000 square foot accounts. Now, when you're getting into that that range there, you know, that's kind of like a mid range. And that's a pretty good uh, area to be in um, to where you're cleaning accounts that are 15 to, to 50,000 square feet, you know, three days to five days per week. Um, you can generate a, a lot of great income that way. Uh, but the thing is now is if you're, if you're, uh, if you want to continue to build your business, now start going after even larger accounts than 50,000. You may go to 50,000 to 75,000 square foot uh, facilities, you know, 
And uh, from there, you can actually go uh, from 75,000 to 100,000 plus square feet. Now, those are getting into the mega accounts, but that's how you actually scale and build your business. You know, that's how you take it from zero to success. But uh, you do it, you do it in stages, you know, because you can't just go from from uh, doing uh, one to three thousand square foot accounts to jumping into a hundred thousand square foot account. You know, also, although it's it's tempting to do that. Uh, because we all get struck with the money. Uh, you see dollar signs, uh, but don't do that. You know, gradually step up as to the, the size of accounts that you're, that you're uh, uh, servicing. Because it will it'll be better for you as you continue to build and edit and, uh, and modify your systems as you grow. Because that's exactly what will happen. Uh, your systems that you built for... Uh, when you're servicing one to 3,000 square foot facilities, you know, it's fine. But as you continue to get bigger and bigger facilities, those systems will change. The procedures in which you service them will change. So keep that in mind. But gradually just step it up. Um, you know, and eventually what you're going to see is that, um, you know, you before you know it, you could be doing $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, you know, $100,000 a month. But the thing what you probably want to do is go ahead and set yourself a revenue goal, even from the beginning. So even from the beginning, when we first started, let's say that we want to make um, $1,000 a month. So that would be our first goal. Uh, then as you continue to grow and follow, you know, continue to, to increase uh, uh, the size of facilities and stuff, then increase the, your sales goal. So maybe we're going to have it to where we're doing, we want to get $1,500 worth of new business every every month. Maybe it's $3,000 of new business every month. Could be $5,000 of new business every month. So by doing that, uh, that is called compounded sales. So if you actually set your, your goal up to do compounded sales to where you are doing either $300, $500, $1,000, $5,000 per month in new business, uh, that generates a lot of money. So uh, within a 12-month period of time, uh, you end up with hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in sales. So do that because you'll you'll uh, you really will uh, be able to uh, skyrocket your business. Now, what you're going to see is that there we do have some uh, charts in the download library of the, of, uh, the janitorialstore.com and my house cleaning biz. So if you want to know what a compounded uh, growth is. Uh, we do have those charts there. Uh, they're very useful, and uh, I highly recommend that you that you do that um, because what it's doing is it's really it's setting it's setting a goal for yourself, and it's going to uh, keep you um, uh, and keep you uh, motivated towards the end goal. So, hopefully, you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And as usual, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe to the you uh, click on the subscribe button. And uh, thanks again for checking in, and we'll see you next time.